Welcome back to the channel and today we are looking at some more of your best builds where I've asked members of my discord to submit their best scrap mechanic builds and this is what we are looking at today starting with the Operation Turisaz by Gavakin. So I don't really I don't really know what this thing is other than a cool hovercraft. It looks really cool. Oh look at that there's our seat apparently. There's some weird stuff happening here with uh the sensor. I guess it's like a weird elevation detection sensor um all right let's see let's get back into oh oh it's like a bike oh we sit on top of it like this okay number two oh okay push buttons see what happens we fell out of the sky all right there we go all right number three is machine guns of course gotta be weaponized and then number four seems to be reverse all right and then we can just use wasd to go forward oh wow this thing's actually pretty stable all right there we go seeing that piston is just it's just weird i've never really seen that style of uh hover sensor before all right can we what happens if we go over water we're probably we're probably just gonna sink into the water aren't we yeah we're sinking into the water all right hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. let's get out of the water there we go the turning is i mean it's like it feels like a hovercraft the turning is very very floaty Oh, look at all the spuds. So yeah, I don't know if this is based off of anything. If it's not based off of anything, this is a pretty cool design you came up with. If it is based off of something, it's a pretty cool design that you replicated. Very Star Wars-like, in my opinion. Okay, up next, always gonna have some crazy logic thing uh, in these videos. This is my Game Bite. This is a bike simulator vanilla. All right, let's see if we can pop it off the lift here. Surprisingly, not as laggy as I thought it was going to be. Scoreboard by Brent Batch. Wait, you can choose different vehicles? Score moves up as you go forward. If you crash, minus five points. Score will go to zero after you stop. 99% random. May repeat after some time. Not gonna find that repeat point in this video. All right, one to gear up, two to activate sky, three is music. All right, well, let's see what kind of music. Hopefully it's not copyright music. All right, we enter through here. Have I seen this before? It looks kind of familiar. If I didn't see this one in particular, I think I've seen a similar style of creation. All right, so one, wait, do I, oh, 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 the turning is interesting. All right, there's the music. How do we start? Oh, I'm going. Okay, here we go. Oh, I feel like I just, I think I just hit stuff. All right, there, oh boy. Okay, there, those are things. Those are things. I think I just hit it again. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning. I'm learning is what I'm doing. I think I did gear up too. Here, let's, oh, oh, no, no. oh. What's my score? Zero. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm terrible at this game, apparently. All right, hold on, I think it reset because I got off of the vehicle, right? All right, I think I may have messed it up by um, accidentally jumping out. So let's jump back in. Press number three to activate music. All right, here we go. Here we go. Is this normal speed? Uh, uh. Is my score going up? It is going up. Go look at the score. Uh. It's hard to look at the score and the road at the same time. I'm a distracted driver. All right, gear up. Oh yeah, I can see it go faster. All right, this uh, lane's pretty clear now. Is it, oh, dang it, I think I, I I missed it. 29, 30, I got 30 points. The steering is actually kind of satisfying. It doesn't feel right. Oh, oh, I definitely messed up there. Wait, did my score go all the way back to down to zero? Oh. Well, I'm not even paying attention anymore. But yeah, super cool logic visuals and stuff on this one. I mean, the graphics on the road could use a little bit of an improvement, but um, you're working with like a 100p right here. <laughs> it's not the most pixels I've seen on a screen. In case you guys were wondering, this is what all the logic looks like, the wiring and stuff. Actually, it doesn't, it's not nearly as much as I thought it was as far as the programming goes. Cause like all of this stuff is just the visuals. But it looks like this is probably the actual like, logic, like the scoreboard and stuff. All right, moving on by Ice Tyrone or Icterone is the Zyper Corp. Yeah, right, Zyper. Zyper Corp Proton Monowheel. It looks like there's two different versions of it. So let's go ahead and disconnect them. And let's go with the, the monowheel that has one wheel, as you would expect for a monowheel. Oh boy, it's fast. Why did it kind of lag out my game? Why is it lagging out my game? Wait, it's just a monowheel. Why is this so laggy? Oh, okay, we can aim guns up and down. There we go, very slow aiming. We can aim down in front of us if we need be. All right, there we go. Turning is pretty slow. Let's see how this one feels in compared to the other one. I'm gonna put you on a lift just to reset all of your moving parts. 
Um, why does this one have extra wheels? Well, it definitely feels more stable. It's still laggy. I'm surprised. These things are so small. I'm surprised how laggy they are. All right. And yes, yeah, so this is pretty much the same thing, but with some um, wheelie bars, mono wheelie bars. Can it still be considered a mono wheel if it's technically like a tricycle? Are wheelie bars considered wheels? I mean, they're in constant contact with the ground, so I feel like it's it's kind of not a mono wheel anymore, is it? What are the semantics of mono wheel de definition? Uh, oh, that was a bad idea. I don't know why I did that. Let's uh, let's stop that from happening. Okay, up next, this thing looks really detailed, but if you zoom in, you may notice that these are like big, like these are like blocks. Uh, th <laughs> this is probably going to be super massive. By Pizza Cat One Seven Three Two, it is a dual sport motorcycle. If you have a bad PC, I do not recommend this. Well, let's see what happens here. Wait, can I spawn it? There we go. Oh, what? This is even bigger than I expected. I knew it was going to be big. Let's see what happens when I spawn it in. Oh, no. Okay, I said physics 8 recommended. Physics 8. Oh, yeah, that definitely helped. Wow. Oh, look at the exhaust pipes. How do we get up into this thing? Oh, there's seat. Okay. Wow, it's so big, you don't even notice a seat just slapped on there. All right, so one seat. There's got to be like... Oh, are these... Can I just like walk up the tire now? It is so laggy. Well, look at the suspension. It's got like suspension, like just dozens of suspension pieces. Wow, look at this. Where am I supposed to go? How do I, there's a seat on there. How do I get there? When in doubt, use toilet. No way this thing actually works. Okay, it's so big, I, can't, I literally can't zoom out. Oh, look at like the handlebars and everything. Oh no, we're, we're, fi we're, we're falling over. Wait, 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 what's, uh, Dang it. All right, well, there's a, there, it looks like there's a fuel tank up here. Can we open up the fuel tank? Wait, can we actually go inside? <laughs> Hold on. You can actually go inside the fuel tank. That's pretty cool. All right, are there, is there anything else on this thing? Do the wheels, does it, it said it could work? Do the, I don't know if I believe that. All right, let me look real quick. It looks like, yeah, the wheels are supposed to spin. So there's, wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. Because there's a controller right there hooked up to those wheels. But that controller isn't hooked up into anything. Oh wait, but there's, then there's a bearing there. Oh, there are bearings on that, what? Those are hooked into engines, which are hooked into this logic gate, which are hooked into, I don't, I don't think, this doesn't look like it's actually hooked up to, to be drivable. See, when I put the toilet on there, it adjusts everything and kind of ruins it. But here, I'm in, I'm pressing the button to go forward. We have like a big suspension glitch happening right now. Our front wheel's lifting off off the ground. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to get this thing to work. I don't even know what's happening. Well, the back wheel's spinning. Look at that. Wow, it's actually kind of impressive watching such a big thing, big object spin like that. The spokes look really good too. Oh man, look at like the engine and everything. Like it, there's just like an insane amount of detail on this. Like this is, this was a difficult creation to build. I'm sad we couldn't get it to work but at least we got to see it. And I think for a creation like that, that's enough. Seeing it spawned in the world and getting a sense of size for it is kind of crazy. All right, up next by David Baguetta is the cat 302.2D no mods. And there's a lot of buttons here. I'm just gonna push buttons and see what happens. Oh, it's so, it's so compact. No mods on the, oh, there is glitch welding though. All right, let's open up the door. Oh, wow. Okay, number seven, I guess is the door. All right. Oh, why is it? So oh, my physics, hold on. Physics, go back to advance. There we go. Yep, that was it. Oh, this is kind of cool. We got some nice skid sear steering. Whoa. Oh. Oh, wow. Wait, this is vanilla? How? Because there's, so what just happened is when I have number one toggled off, WASD does the wheels. When I press number one, WASD now does the bucket. Like, what? It does the arm. Okay. Number two and three is left and right. This is kind of crazy. Number four opens and closes that. Number five puts down the, the plow. Number six is lights. Seven we know is the door. Eight is the radio. And nine is the horn. All right, so then number four would be to open that. So then I would go like that and like that. And then I would go like this. Yeah, like that, and then lift up, and then I could turn, 
I'm pretending I just scooped up like a big pile of dirt or something. And then if I had a thing over here, I could go like that and drop it off. Cool. I just feel like I did a practice simulation of lifting up a pile of dirt. <laughs> it actually felt kind of fun and satisfying. That was a fun build. Man, well built on this. Boop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to do it. Okay. Goodbye. All right, I'm gonna have to find a spot on the water for this thing because this thing looks massive, like absolutely massive. This is by Eddie227, the Ocean Liner Aquastar. Got a whole fictional story here. If you wanna read it, I'll scroll through very carefully. Wow, this is a really long story. No mods do not spawn underwater. All right, I hope, uh, I hope this is enough water. Now I know it said don't spawn underwater and I've seen that on things before, however, in order to spawn in the wa on the water, you got to put the lift under the water. You can't put the lift on the water. Here goes nothing. What direction is it facing? There we go. Okay, all right, here. Uh, lift, I'm going to lift up as high as I can. That's as high as I can lift it. It's pretty much underwater. I'm sorry. I cannot follow the instructions. But here we go. Put the lift down here. It'll probably be really laggy until it floats. Until it starts getting on top of the water. It's just all of these blocks are interacting with their buoyancy values right now, which I'm assuming is what is causing the lag. But you can see it's getting less laggy as it gets higher up. And now it's just only a little bit laggy. All right, how do we get up with a toilet, of course? Okay, here we go. You guys ready for the tour? Me too. Starting in the office. This is where we keep um, the safe, I guess, right in the office, just right in the main office. Whoa. Oh, <gasps> there's a little model of the ship here. Ooh, what happens when we press this? Oh, you got lights? Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Look at this. This is so fancy. This is really elegant. How do we get over there? Oh, you got to go out? Go out this way? Go this way, look at the life rafts. Oh, we got a little uh, sitting area there. We can observe pe people watch. Looks like this is a eating area. Bunch of tables for people. Big parties of people. All right, what do we got? We got, let's go up to the, I'll say the top for, for later. All right, so I'm assuming these are just gonna be all copy and paste rooms. Really compact. Is this like a mirrored version? Yep. Are they all just mirrored to each other? It looks like it. Yeah. What is this? Oh. That's probably where all the fun stuff is. Star. Oh yeah, Aqua Star. I was having a lot of trouble reading this font. I'm like, I already read the name. I just gotta remember what it is. All right, what is over here? This probably gives access to like the engine area. Oh, this is the, this is the flag room. You wanna decide what country your ship is from, depending on which waters you're sailing on. I guess you just just pick a flag. Start starts uh, flying that flag. And this is where we like tie off anchors and stuff. Where we drop the anchors at the back of the ship. All right, and here we go. Stairs going down. Yep. Stuff is looking very machine-like, machinery-like. This is where the crew quarters looks like. That's where they're going to be sleeping. And then big empty room. All right, there's like two sub-levels, it looks like. So let's stay on sub-level one. Oh, wait. This looks like more... Hmm. Hmm. Are these crew... These are probably like... These are probably the economy bunks. For, uh, you know, passengers that can't afford the luxury ones up up above. Yeah, these are all identical rooms, too. Oh, and this leads down to the ground floor of this thing. Wait, oh, this is where the office was. All right, but what's up here, then? Ooh, more luxury suites. Different style of luxury suite. Oh, oh, what is this? A kitchen? Oh, okay. We got a kitchen there. There's explosives in the kitchen. Well, propane tanks. All right, oh, we're going down again. Oh, we got a med bay? Wow, this is, there's so much stuff in this ship. How do you even like, how do you plan out the build like this? I don't think I've really built anything this massive before. This would take like weeks of time. All right, so now we got some more economy uh, rooms. What is this? Oh, bathrooms, got the men's room. Oh, this is the stairs. Okay, the stairs go down here. Okay, that makes sense. Men's room, women's room. And then here's more of the economy seating or the economy uh, rooms. And then they just really lead to like, this area, the crew area. Oh, we got the freezer. Then the mail room. Never really thought about mail for cruise liners. I mean, do, do you really need a mail system for that? I feel like there was another level down below, wasn't there? How do I access the other lower level? I'm actually, I'm kind of lost. That's how big this creation is. I actually got lost on it. I feel like I got to go this way. 
And then I go down twice. Can I go down twice? Yeah, that, how do I get down there? Oh, wait, I was down there, wasn't I? Oh, okay. I just got lost. I was like, there's definitely a second floor down there, but I un unknowingly w already went to the second floor. I was actually surprised I didn't find an engine room with like a whole bunch of machinery and stuff. Maybe, maybe it is somewhere that I haven't actually just been yet. All right. So now we're on the deck. What is up here? More stairways. Okay. That leads to the office. This is so confusing. All right. This is the bow of the boat. Is that, wait, is, is that actually like a driving? Is that, that the driver's seat? What is this for? This can't be driving the boat. All right. Oh, look at this. We're strafing. Strafing left and right. What does this do? Oh, oh this is not the bow of the boat. That's the back of the boat. That makes sense because the direction the flag is waving. Yeah, we have forward, backward, strafing. And it looks like I also got turning. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now that we know that we drive from back there, I'm actually surprised at how exposed that is. Let's go up to the front of the boat. Looks like we got some lifeboats here. Oh. There's multiple, yeah, there's multiple driving, uh, seats. Yeah, so this must be like the captain's quarters or something right here. Well, more crew, I guess. I don't think the captain needs four beds. Oh, no, we're going. Oh, oh, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Stop, land ho. Almost pulled a Titanic there. All right, and then we got up here, which is, oh, big anchor. Hmm, I didn't see an engine room. It's probably, I guess it's just hidden. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I missed this room. This looks like another anchor room or something. Oh, we got showers over here. Man, this is like an entire video. Like, just exploring this ship takes... <laughs> like, it just, it just takes that much time just to explore everything that you built in the ship. The Aqua Star. Look at the logo and everything. All right, really well done on this build. These are just builds that, like... I don't understand. I don't understand how... How you can spend this much time on a single build. Then, then again, I've got, like, 3,000 hours on a single game, so... I just did a lot of different things in that game, like showing off builds that other people spend 3,000 hours on. All right, but last up here, we've got the Scaramouche Bot Fight Mech 3.0 by Matij Koperdak. Based off of a boss in Genshin Impact, which is a game I have not played, so I will not be able to uh, attest to the accuracy of this, but it looks crazy. Use a stabilizer made by Trendadirde. All right, so let's see what this thing's all about. Whoa. Um, is this normal? Do I get in here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I feel like there's a cockpit up here that I gotta get into. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. All right, and in. Number one. Oh, oh, that was cool. Number two. We are alive. Oh, look at the arms. Okay. Looks like I can press W to go forward. Oh, the head turns. Oh, look at the halo. I, didn't, I just noticed that that's like an actual halo. It's got horns on it and everything. This is crazy. All right, number three. Oh, can we fly? Oh, we can fly too. And we can go up and down. Oh, oh no, I jumped out. Oh, <laughs> it's sentient. It has achieved sentience. It's now me versus the boss. Ah. All right, I actually like genuinely, I don't think I can get in it anymore. Man, just the, the amount of detail, like little detail pieces that you put on this thing. Like all these... Like, flat panel pieces and everything. This cornfield is- this is why I usually have foliage turned off, because of cornfields. Oh man, hold on a second. Look at the, uh, the activation animation. It's not really like an animation, but it just- everything kind of settles into place when you activate it. Alright, watch like the legs and the arms and everything. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes. It becomes alive. Man, so cool. Even like, I'm just noticing the- the upper and lower legs. Here, can I actually get out? Hold on, let me open up the- cockpit. Ooh, 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 that looks cool. Let me out, please. Eh. All right, I'm gonna have to do a toilet thing here. Hold me. All right, but anyway, what I was trying to point out, like, that as a knee is super cool. I mean, it doesn't make sense biologically, but I don't think this is, like, a biological thing. But yeah, like, the, just the, the crescent attachment for the knees that, like, leave this space between the upper and lower leg is super cool. All right, so PSA, if you want to uh, join into future best builds, make sure that you have your mods listed or you test out that your build still works because there were a couple, a couple of times in recent best builds episodes where I planned on showing a creation, but it failed to build. I could not build it in my game, and I have like almost a hundred mods enabled. So if you don't have your mods listed, and I happen to not have it, there's no way I'm gonna find it. And just make sure your build's not broken and it still spawns in on the lift. So yeah, PSA to future 
uh, potential participants in your best builds and make sure if you do want to become one of those future participants that you are a member of the discord there's a link in every video down in the description let me know which one of these creations you thought was the best and if you enjoyed this video you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen hope this video has earned your subscription anyway this is scrap man and i'll see you next time bye